In Mari 4.7, we've revised the shelf palette. We've refreshed the UI to be sleeker and more user-friendly, while keeping all of the Mari system shelves and content at your fingertips. The shelf is divided into two main sections, the shelf panel, which can be used to move between your shelves, and the item view, which displays your content. The shelf panel visibility can be toggled on and off, like so. The shelf panel dictates which content appears in the item view based on your current selection. By default, having no shelf selected displays all items regardless of the shelf they're stored in. You can restrict your item view further by selecting individual or multiple shelves. To scale your shelf items, select the resize thumbnail icon and adjust the slider. Shelves can now be grouped for better organisation. To do so, select the shelves you'd like to group. Right click and select Group Shelf. You're prompted to give the new group a name or you can select an existing group from the drop down. Nested shelves can be ungrouped using the same menu. Shelves and groups can also be renamed using the right click menu. You can use the import shelf item button at the top of the palette or the right click context menu in the item view to import existing shelves and content. Mari appends imports to your current shelf or asks which shelf to import to based on your selection. Saving shelf items works in the same way. You can save single or multiple items and entire shelves. Also in Mari 4.7 is the ability to search for content across single and multiple shelves. Search results can be manipulated using the filter drop down menu, which allows you to restrict your results to a certain type of shelf item. You can search for items by name or tag. Tags give you more power when deciding how to organise your shelves, though they are currently only supported by materials. Tags can be viewed by hovering over a material in the shelf to display its tooltip. To edit or add new tags to an existing material, right click and select Edit Tags. Existing tags are displayed in the drop down list. Tags can also be added in the material node properties prior to exporting. We hope you enjoy this new feature. Stay safe and happy painting!